Okay, what's going on guys? Your boy Terabyte Reacts here and I am back. So I made sure I got all the fun stuff out of the way because I know this episode that I'm about to react to is going to be either the saddest episode of Peaky Blinders we've ever watched or I don't know because all I know is I was super upset after watching that episode because I don't know what's going to happen next. How many characters are we going to lose this season if that's how we're starting off the season? Right? Serious like this. We know there's no way John survives this. I think that was his dying moment. Michael, I don't think Michael is dead. I really don't think he's dead. He only got shot once. He only took one bullet, it seems. So, um, but of course, Hesme, she gets away scotch-free. You know what I'm saying? She ran the house, but she caused all of this. In my opinion, she caused all of this because she, she's making stupid suggestions to John and telling John, oh, we don't need him, blah, 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 which is what all the women on the other side is always saying it you know we got linda telling freaking um arthur um you know what i'm saying and and trying to get him away from the family i get it you know what i'm saying you know esme wants john to be his own gangster you know what i'm saying and and also um linda you know what I'm saying? Encouraging Arthur to leave and, you know, get away from the family, get away from the violence, to, you know what I'm saying? And all that stuff. And I think these brothers are so much better together. I really I really do think that the family is so much better together because they, they, they got each other's back. You know what I'm saying? And now that, um, um, now that Ada is back, basically in the picture, she coming home, now she gets involved in all of this. So she always thought she would be on the outside, but I never thought so because she should know better. You know, she should know better. She never want to be a part of the, 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 the illegitimate side of the business. But at the same time, you're still essentially a Peaky Blinder. You are a Shelby. So if you're a Shelby, you're considered a Peaky Blinder regardless. So she should understand that by now. You know, from the days of Freddie Thorne and all of this other stuff. She should understand that these brothers are always going to look out for her. She's she's the sister. And she's the only sister. So, um, so definitely, man, we're going to jump into this episode. I don't know what to expect. All I know is it's about to go down. Let's go get it. And I'll meet you guys right back here for the review. As soon as you finish watching the reaction, come back right here. And let's watch this and let's discuss okay see you guys there oh my god that was a very good episode i would say off bat one of the best out of the entire series just because of that ending scene between Changreta and Mr. Shelby <laughs> okay um it was a very chilling scene like that's the kind of scene that you want to hear every single word that is happening because you know this is gangster talk versus gangster talk like let's be real because we all know how it we all know knowing about the the mafia the Italians we know how they operate. We know they are a force to be reckoned with from every part of history that have ever, ever mentioned these guys. We know how they are. We know they're honorable in certain aspects. <laughs> okay, we know the whole no children, no... You get what I'm saying? We know about that. Um, so that wasn't surprising to me at all. Um, so... For them to be going up against them, I'm glad that this is where this season is. You get what I'm saying? Like a new enemy. Um, well, not necessarily a new enemy. It's more of like revenge, a revenge enemy that I never expected because um, in which season did, did they kill um, Changreta? Was it last season? 
I don't remember. I think it was last season. Or it could have been the second season too. I don't remember exactly when they killed that dude. Um, and let the wife go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. Remember, you guys could probably remind me what season that was. As I said, man, I'm enjoying this series. For, just for the fact that the acting is absolutely amazing in this series. Like, I can't stop talking about just that alone. Just that alone. I mean, every time these characters, there's no wasted characters. And now, you know, one of my favorite from from game of thrones the guy that plays little finger is here now in this series and that's awesome um because because now everything that he does i want i want to see because he was spectacular in game of thrones before they killed him spoiler alert <laughs> anyways so when it comes on to um when it comes on to how they're handling this season so far two episodes in it's superb i don't have no problems with anything other than the fact that i'm glad that my polly my baby she is back to her old self the 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 real peak peaky blinder um that i admired so much in the first two seasons the same woman that went out and killed inspector campbell with no remorse or whatever you know what i'm saying like she is that dude i always told you guys that she's the og peaky blinder no matter what you're gonna say she is she's the heart she's the heart of them it's like the mom died and she had to take care of these boys so it's like for her it's like she knows about what they what they get into um so for like the past like i want to say probably like the five last five episodes or so um she just kind of like become this this character that you feel sorry for knowing what she's going through through the whole process of getting her son back finding out that her daughter is dead and and, and all of this other stuff is just you know i understand it, it kind of changed her character journey you know what i'm saying but now that we have her back the old poly from season one and season two like i'm happy about that because you know, I watched her go through all of those pain, you know what I'm saying, being basically raped by in, in, in Inspector Campbell and, 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 you know what I'm saying, going through all those emotions ended up killing the dude and, you know, trying to keep Michael away from all of the violence and stuff like that, which is something that Tommy was trying to, to keep him away from too, but he's so stubborn, you know what I'm saying, as in he wants to be a part of of the family business so bad that you know what i'm saying he pushed and he got it so i can't blame him and say oh this is tommy's fault because no this is a choice that michael made to be a part of this so and plus you know he's basically in charge of so much because tommy trusts him to do these things on the the, the um the legitimate side um of the business so that's cool so um i'm I, I don't like linda's attitude hesme's i don't like the attitude right now i understand how they feel but at this point you're part of the family esme she she needs to take some of the blame i understand why she would want to blame tommy you know what i'm saying she's not gonna look at herself and be like you know what maybe i should have just left you know what I'm saying? When Michael came, you know what I'm saying? She's not going to look back at us. She's just going to be like, oh, you're, well, you're the reason why we're in this situation, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just how, you know, she's going to react to that. So right now, I could care less what happens to her, really, to be honest, because she's not going to listen. She's left gone with the kids. You know what I'm saying? Um, at least she's not on the death list right, right now. I don't know if they're still going to go after her. And the kids but I don't think so because they said no kids no children and stuff like that now that the agreement is made in this vendetta so everybody else is fear game right now all of them but the main people that they got their eyes on is of course Polly Arthur Tommy Ada I didn't hear him call Finn's name but he did call Michael's name so I, this is going it's nuts you know 
John is gone, and now we're left with this emptiness, you know, and then he got to make these rash decisions. And then this new guy comes in with his son, want to be a boxer, and all of this stuff. So there's a lot of facets. I really, really, really um, looking forward to the rest of the season. It's shaping up to be the best, um, one of the best, if not the best, you know. So, um, so if I love Italians in, in anything, if they're acting bad, I love them. That's why I, I like Sabini, but I hated his attitude. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, I liked his character, but I hated his, his, his attitude. So, um, he, he was too paranoid. He was too paranoid for an Italian. Italians, like how you see Chang, Shangreta, like that's who how i expect italians to behave cool collected they make when they talk they're not screaming like sabini they're not screaming they talk their peace and they get out of the room and they're so cool and collected you know what i'm saying and and that's what i always loved about you know what i'm saying when it comes on to the mafia movies and stuff like that the godfather um to to you know to name a few then they made a movie um uh what's his name again i can never remember that dude's name anyways um but i i love it i love italian mobster movies like it is always something that i've always loved you know what i'm saying um from from al pacino to um what what's his name again <laughs> i can't remember I, it, it's so long since i've seen those movies too like i can't even remember the characters names from the godfather like and you know what i'm saying um but as, as i'm talking about now i'm remembering the faces but i just can't put the names through <laughs> because it's it's been so long like i compartmentalize so many things in my brain guys like um it's kind of like sometimes i really gotta like see it and i bet you right now if i go and google this you know what i'm saying immediately probably as i start typing it i'll i'll remember the name <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it's like it's like that for me sometimes but because i do not concentrate i try not to um spend too much time on information that don't really matter you get what i'm saying so that's how i really think when it comes on to brain power and stuff like stuff that really matter to me that's the things that are forefront and i'm always thinking about so it's kind of like oh that's not so important like you know what i'm saying i just put it somewhere <laughs> you know what i'm saying i have to not think about it too much so these things are awesome man um so i love this episode i liked it very much so thank you guys for watching as always hope you guys love this review if you love this review leave a like on it leave a comment on it of course and thank you guys for watching as always it's your boy terabyte reacts and i will see you guys next time